Now a Target 12 investigators exclusive, tough to terminate. We've discovered most school districts in Rhode Island have not fired a single tenured teacher in the last decade. The Target 12 investigators questioned every school district in the state to uncover just how many teachers have been fired for poor performance. We find of the districts that responded, one in 3,800 tenured teachers were fired for cause last year. Compare that to about one in 880 doctors suspended from practicing medicine and one out of 500 lawyers ordered to stop working. Target 12 investigator Tim White has crunched the numbers and is here now with the exclusive details. The vast majority of teachers in our public schools are good, hardworking people who look out for their students. But like every other workplace, there are some bad apples. Education Commissioner Deborah Giss tells me it's hard to get rid of underperforming teachers. So who's to blame? Well, it depends on who you ask. The details are shocking. In this internal Providence City Hall memo obtained by Target 12, a teacher at the Harry Kurzerian Elementary School in Providence was reprimanded after refusing to implement the district's mandated curriculum, instead giving her fifth grade students busy work such as coloring and puzzles. Then the teacher was suspended with pay over allegations of drinking on the job. The teacher later admitted she had been driving students home to have them perform her household chores. The saga began in December 2009 and as of March 2011 when the memo was written, the teacher was still on paid leave. Why aren't they gone? They should be gone. There's, there's no question. Tim Duffy is the executive director of the Rhode Island Association of School Committees. This is an extreme example, he says, but it highlights a systemic problem. Who's the primary villain in this? Well, I, I, from my perspective, it's the collective bargaining agreement. Another term for union contract. Target 12 sent letters asking each school district in Rhode Island to reveal how many tenured teachers have been terminated for cause in the past 10 years. A tenured teacher is essentially one who has been on the job for three years or more. 32 of the 36 districts provided eyewitness news with data. We found in 10 years, 21 of those 32 school districts have not terminated a single tenured teacher. Of the districts that responded, only 37 tenured teachers have been fired in Rhode Island in the past 10 years, 16 of those in Providence. How can you hear these examples and feel confident about, about the system in place to deal with problem teachers? Well, it, it, uh, you can have confidence in the system and not necessarily be confident in the people that are supposed to be monitoring and implementing that system. Frank Flynn is president of the Rhode Island Federation of Teachers. Nobody wants ineffective teachers in classrooms. Teachers unions don't, particularly because uh, it, it can be uh, expen an expensive and, and lengthy process. He says the main villain is a lousy teacher evaluation process. If you're going to terminate someone and uh, deprive them of their livelihood, you need to make sure that you provide them with uh, you know, real meaningful information about what it is specifically that you're finding fault with. Both Duffy and Flynn say administrators are often short-staffed. Sometimes those evaluations only take place every other year. Sometimes they take place every third year. Sometimes they only take place once in every five years. Many of the superintendents who responded to our request wanted to point out they're sometimes able to counsel a teacher to resign instead of going through the termination process. Now having said that, if one of their members is insistent on going through the hearing process, then they will defend them vociferously through that process. Duffy says it's not unheard of for it to take two or three years to terminate a teacher the district no longer wants. If that teacher wants to fight their termination, you are obligated to represent that teacher. We're obligated to fight them with due process. By fiduciarily, uh, we, we have an obligation to do that for them. Remember the teacher profiled in that Providence memo. The author does find fault with management for failing to follow the termination process, but that teacher also filed a grievance for being reprimanded, which Duffy says brings the process to a slow grind no matter how bad the allegation. All too often we've allowed generation after generation of students to exit city schools without a meaningful education. And that, that it's almost a civil rights issue. The Rhode Island Department of Education is implementing a new set of teacher evaluation standards for school districts. While Union President Frank Flynn says that could lead to a spike in teacher terminations, he says he hopes it'll provide the tools 
to get underperforming teachers up to speed. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. If you want to find out how many teachers your school districts terminated in the last decade, we actually have a town-by-town -town breakdown on terminated teachers on our website. Check it out under the interactive list to zero in on your district. It's all online right now at WPRI.com. Just click on Target 12.